Becoming a game developer is one of the things that young people wanted to achieve, mostly because they play a lot of games and they get curious about how games are created. That's basically what happened to me. I play a lot of games and the thought of learning how to make games just came out and it made me want to become a game developer. So today we're going to talk about the things that you need to do if you want to become a successful game developer. Number one, the very first thing that you need to do is to ask yourself why you want to become a game developer. Is it because you want to just learn it as a hobby or you want to do it to have a full-time career? Because you have to realize that game development is very huge and it will take a lot of your time. So if you're that kind of person who is really busy, then you might just end up quitting. So make sure you organize yourself, your time, especially if you're dreaming of creating a very huge project. Unless the main reason why you want to become a game developer is to create casual games like this. Even so, creating casual games can take a lot of work. Games have graphic designs, animation, sound effects, music, programming, and much more. So ask yourself, what do you really want to do or want to be in the game development industry? Do you like designing environment? Do you, do you like making sound effects? Do you like making music? Do you like programming? Or do you want to make animations? There are lots of work in game development, so pick at least one or two. I highly recommend you learn programming though or game designing because you can't really become a game developer without knowing how to code or design a game. The second thing that you need to do is to pick which game engine you want to use. There are so many game engines that you can use for your game development. Two of the most popular game engines are Unity and Unreal Engine. If you're just getting started though, I highly suggest using Unity instead of Unreal because Unreal can be quite technical and confusing unlike Unity. One of the reasons why Unity is good for beginners because it's free, first of all, and second of all, it's very well documented. So if you, if you get confused somehow or if you encounter big amounts of errors, you can just easily find answers online by, you know, searching on Google or by going to Unity's community page. The next thing that you need to do, or the third, is to watch tutorials or courses online. I believe there are hundreds if not thousands of video tutorials online about how to make games with Unity or with Unreal. So take that opportunity to learn how to develop games. If you're interested, we also offer courses or tutorials in our blog. So feel free to visit us by going to weeklyhow.com the link is also in the description. The very last thing that you need to do to become a game developer is of course to create a game. This is the part where you will be taking a lot of time. So if this is your first time, don't be afraid to take your time while challenging yourself to do more. Create something casual like 2D games, Super Mario like type of game or Counter Strike type of games. These projects will definitely give you an idea how, to, how it is like to work on a game project. So, so that's pretty much what you need to do to get started. But we're not just going to end it right here. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to become successful in your game development journey. Tip number one is to start very small. If you're just a beginner, don't, don't think too much about creating a very big project as it will just cause you frustrations, which can lead to quitting. So start by creating small projects that don't really need too much graphics or too much complicated features. Make something like a simple first person shooter that kills, I don't know, like cubes or something similar like that. Tip number two is to never stop learning. If you learned how to make the door open by pressing E, Learn how to make the door open by going close to it, you know, depending on the distance of the player and the door. The point I'm making is do not stop looking for alternative ways to improve your game development skills. Learn about events, AI, physics, and many more. Don't be that guy who is so content with whatever he knows and never consider improving himself because that is not how a game developer should be. My next tip is to share your progress in the community. That way you will get real feedbacks about your game projects and you will understand what to do and what not to do for your game projects. Tip number four is to let yourself explore the world. I know it sounds cheesy, 
But what I mean by that is for you to not just stay at home and work at your projects. Go outside, look for, look at your environment. It will not only give you the breaks that you deserve, but it will also give you an idea on what to implement in your game projects. You know, say, for example, you are walking around your town and you see this garbage in the ground. Wait, <laughs> did I just make that rhyme? You, know, um, you, see, uh, you see a gar garbage and you put it into the trash can and then you, you think about adding this feature to your game. I know it sounds so <laughs> stupid. Uh, and then when the player throws this, this garbage and put it in the trash can, the player gets, I don't know, like points, something like that. Uh, the point is you, you can get so many ideas if you just walk around your town or if you just walk around. Tip number five is to read clean code. This is the best way to avoid your scripts from getting unorganized. This, is, this usually happens when your game is too large and you write too many scripts. So get the clean code book from Amazon and learn the principles of clean code. I'll put the link in the description. And last tip for this video is to play games. Play the games that can give you ideas and inspiration or play games that make you ask yourself like, how did they do that? How did they make the time slow? How did they make the building explode? That way you'll learn more and you can add that to your own projects. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's quite short, but yeah. Everything I listed in this video is the things that I have personally experienced. And if you're watching this video and you know something that helped you to become a game developer, please don't hesitate to share it with everyone. Game development takes a lot of learning time, so don't rush yourself. Take your time and you will definitely become an expert someday. Just be consistent, learn programming, and you will be okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So if you want to be part of the first thousand subs, subscribe now. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.